I'm Mike Huckman at the Bio Bus Center, where I'm really happy to be joined by Sir Richard Branson, who is one of the main keynote speakers at this year's Bio International Convention here in San Diego. Sir Richard, thanks for being here. Great pleasure. As a, as a tremendously successful and global, iconic entrepreneur, what is your message or messages, I should say, um, to this crowd here that, as you know, is involved in a high risk, but potentially high reward pursuit of biotechnology? Well, the reason I decided to come today um, uh, was, well, first, first I just um, raise as much money as we can for a wonderful foundation that does good works and, uh, and the, the industry's been good enough to make a donation. Um, but more importantly, uh, the people here, I think, can literally transform the world uh, for the better. So, um, you know, the, the, the world goes around based on energy. Um, we need clean energy. Um, uh, the biotech world should be able to produce clean energy for airplanes, for cars, for buses, for lorries, for, you know, for, for, our, for our cities. And, um, and um, so uh, here to try to encourage them to go all out to do that. Uh, the biotech industry uh, can transform uh, our, li our, our bodies and, our, you know, and, and, and make us well again. Um, and, um, uh, and through things like collecting you know, cord blood or, or, or whatever. I mean, there's just so many, so many wonderful things that can, then can happen. So, uh, so you know, there, there is an extraordinary group of people all under one roof and they need to be encouraged. So you've already touched on a couple of the things that I know you're involved in. So you're putting biofuels into Virgin Jets, right? Maybe you're going to put it into your rocket ship as well. I don't know, you can, you can tell me about that. You started the, the Virgin umbilical cord blood bank uh, in the UK. Correct me if I'm wrong, um, but I think you've had your genome uh, sequenced as well. Um, and you've been outspoken about the need for vaccines and the need for access to vaccines, all of which is encompassed in the world of biotechnology that you talked about. What's next? <laughs> well, we also have a $25 million prize for uh, anybody who can come up with a way of um, extracting carbon out of the Earth's atmosphere. And again, I think it's people in the biotech world that may well come up with a breakthrough for that. So, um, and if you can extract carbon out of the Earth's atmosphere, you can um, actually balance the atmosphere's books. You can, you know, you can, you can choose what temperature um, the world should be set at. And today's temperature seems to be about right. We just don't want, you know, we don't want it, want it to change dram dramatically. So, um, so you know, I'm, I'm keen to put out challenges out there and, and hope that we can find brilliant young scientists or, or technicians to um, come up with the answers. Which is great through the reward money. Do you personally, though, invest in this sector? Do you invest in publicly traded biotechnology companies or in VC-backed uh, biotechnology companies? Um, I invest uh, uh, mainly on a not-for-profit basis. Mm -hmm. So. Um, you know, so for instance, um, you know, many years ago, I found that um, that the minority groups um, were not benefiting from cord blood banks, and um, and so we'd set up on a not-for-profit basis a cord blood bank, um, where 50% of the cord blood from the baby would be kept for that baby, but the other 50% would go into uh, a global gl blood bank, um, and uh, and. You know, the baby does not suffer by giving away 50% of it. Um, and we're very much trying to encourage all, all mothers to put 50% in, in a bank because actually it's more likely that their baby will benefit from the cord blood in the bank than from holding on to their own cord blood. Finally, to come back up uh, to a high level, do you believe that this is the industry that can crack the codes of clean energy, biofuels, cancer, Alzheimer's, diabetes, heart disease, etc., on and on and on. Yes, I mean, you know, this, this is the industry that um, uh, can transform the world, and so it's a great privilege to be here today.